let's begin. So, we have a nice amount of video game news this week, so let's just jump right in. Uh, first, we got some news for GTA 5 coming to PlayStation 5, and this is really cool. So, basically, for those that don't know, people have been anticipating the release of GTA 5 on the PlayStation 5. It's going to be the definitive version of GTA 5, according to Rockstar. Um, they're going to be doing all types of different things with this version of the game, and only this version. So, they released some new info in the last day or two, and basically, they revealed that GTA 5 on PS5 will have a special controller support uh, that's basically going to allow you to feel the road and weather while you drive or run around in the environment. So, for those that don't know, the PlayStation 5 has this like technology rumble, which basically allows you to feel when you're going over like heavy, bumpy surfaces or when there's like very strong weather nearby, the controller actually kind of reacts to what's going on in the game way more than any other PlayStation controller ever has because it's very like dynamic. Like if you crash or bump into something on the right side and then it kind of like, I don't know, vibrates in a certain way where you'll feel like every single individual bump on the road or if there's like a strong wind or something crazy going on like rain you'll feel like the tiny little raindrops on your controller as you're holding it almost as if you're in the actual game so it's very hard to like describe but it really makes you feel immersed in the game it's something that i really really love about the PlayStation 5, and a lot of games are starting to use this feature on PS5, so really excited that GTA 5 is taking, like, full liberties with this, and they're going to be including support for that. Uh, additionally, they basically said that the PS5 version of GTA 5 is going to have three special graphic modes. So there's going to be like a faster loading mode, so if you don't care about visuals or graphics, you're going to have just a very fast loading mode. That's probably going to be like 120 FPS or something like that. Then there's going to be an enhanced graphics mode, which will probably be 4K resolution with all the new textures and ray tracing that they've included in this new version of GTA 5, so it's going to look great. And they shared some screenshots of just how beautiful GTA 5 looks like on PlayStation 5, so this is a big deal. I think I might actually end up getting GTA 5 on PS5 and playing it on the channel, even though I already own it on PC. This feels like it's going to be like the definitive final version of the game with all these new features and things. So I really want to play this one and so far I'm very impressed by everything they've done so can't wait for that. It's going to be amazing. Uh, let's see. So... Uh, just a second. <laughs> accidentally opened up the wrong uh, news window. Okay, here we go. So, after all of that GTA 5 news, we got some good information about Battlefield 2042. So, DICE has basically come out and apologized to the Battlefield community and announced that they're going to completely overhaul the game, including the massive maps. So one of the key things that people have a problem with is how lifeless some of the maps feel like in Battlefield 2042. They're enormous, and there's not much going on in many of the locations. They all feel very 
very similar and they're full of like bugs and things not reacting accordingly to the environment and stuff like that so apparently fans absolutely hated how there were like these big open spaces no cover no buildings and they're gonna like completely redo all that so it's better for the player so i'm excited and i'm very happy they're doing this with battlefield like it's about time hopefully they can transform this game into something amazing i believe in the developers i, I think they just need some time but i really like that they came out this week and said this so next we got some news for the uh batman fans that play rocket league so rocket league has a special collab with the new batman movie and basically they brought back the batmobile to rocket league and a limited time mode which i believe is batman inspired so that's awesome Definitely check that out if you're a fan of Rocket League. Use a code. Use the code uh, ASMR Gaming on the Rocket League uh, shop or the Epic Game Store. I need to play that game more on the channel. It's fun but difficult. Uh, so next piece of news is something I'm really excited about. Actually, uh, this was a surprise. So Ezio from Assassin's Creed is going to be coming to Fortnite as a special, like, skin. I believe it's going to be in the Gaming Legends set of skins, basically, where Fortnite takes characters from other video games and puts them in Fortnite. We had that with, you know, Kratos from God of War, Resident Evil, uh, Street Fighter, Halo with Master Chief, and a bunch of others. So it seems like they're doing that exact same thing, but with Ezio. Now, this is a leak, so this is not officially confirmed by Epic Games. Data miners and leak leakers found this information, but I think it's safe to say we should be getting an announcement, hopefully within the next few weeks or months, about this. So, can't wait to play as Ezio. I wonder if we're going to have like some special challengers or something for him, maybe a new location, you never know. So that's awesome. Additionally, Fortnite this week did yet another collab with a famous athlete. Uh, I think the last one we got was uh, LeBron, LeBron James. Uh, I don't think we got another athlete after LeBron, but I may be mistaken. Honestly, I haven't been paying attention. But uh, we got Naomi Osaka this week, and she's like a famous tennis player. She's like a champion. Uh, so they basically gave her two sets of skins in Fortnite's item shop this week. So that's that's awesome. Like, wow, that, that must feel amazing, you know, to be like a famous athlete and you get your character, your actual, like, character in-game. Like, wow, that that is so cool. So uh, next, we have some really big news for Pokemon fans. This is probably... One of the biggest pieces of news this week. So the Pokemon company, uh, aka Game Freak, they basic, basically like stealth announced the new Pokemon games. No one was expecting new Pokemon game announcements or anything like that. We literally just got Pokemon Legends Arceus just a couple weeks ago, so people are still playing that game. But uh, yeah early this week they basically came out they had a special live stream and they released uh, an announcement for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet which will be the two big next mainline pokemon games uh coming out for the nintendo switch at the end of this year like whoa the Pokemon company and the people that work there never sleep. Seriously, we just got a Pokemon game, and then before that we got more Pokemon games, and now we're gonna get another Pokemon game this year. Like, wow, that's crazy. Like, props to those people. They're probably working very, very hard over there in the development team to make these games, but uh, people were quick to point out that 
that this is going to be one of the first Pokemon games where the names kind of have nothing to do with each other. Like, usually it's like Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire, you know, they're kind of like the opposites, red and blue, stuff like that. Whereas Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are, I guess, not that similar. People are kind of like arguing how this is a little bit weird for a Pokemon name. They should have went with something else, some people are saying. So the title is definitely a lot more different than other Pokemon games like Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, you know, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red. Uh, the list goes on and on, you know, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, all those kind of are interchangeable. You're like, oh, that's the opposite of a diamond, you know, we got Pearl over here, different color completely. But uh, yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is, I don't know, to me it feels a little bit, just a little bit lazy. I feel like maybe they got tired with uh, coming up with special names and they just decided to go with uh, Violet and Scarlet. But hopefully, maybe that has something to do with the game or Pokemon or characters that we'll encounter in these new games. But uh, yeah, that's super surprising. So Pokemon fans are happy about that. Maybe I'll play this game this year, like when it releases. I uh, haven't played a Pokemon game in a bit. And let's see, am I missing any important video game news? Uh, okay, we got one last piece of news here. So Pac-Man is having like a special anniversary and they're releasing this like special Pac-Man collection called Pac-Man Museum Plus. And it's going to be like a full-on arcade of classic games from Pac-Man's like entire history. Like I'm looking at it right now. There's all these famous Pac-Man games. Some of these I never even played before. So if you like Pac-Man, if you like retro old school video games, you might want to check this out. Uh, let me see if they actually have some of the... Pokemon, I mean Pac-Man, did I just say Pokemon? If they have some of the Pac-Man games I like. Okay, so yeah, they have a lot of the Pac-Man arcade games. That's so cool. But you know what's not cool? They're missing some of the later 3D Pac-Man games. Like, yo, can we get Pac-Man World? Like, where is that? Where's Pac-Man World? Oh, wait. Oh my goodness, I think. Wait, it actually has Pac-Man World. Are you kidding me? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have Pac-Man World. That's not fair. They have the music from Pac-Man World, but they don't have the actual game. Okay, that's annoying. How are you going to have a Pac-Man collection without some of the best 3D Pac-Man games? That doesn't make sense. If any of you have ever played Pac-Man World, you know what I'm talking about. Pac-Man World 2 was amazing. That's such a fun game. But, uh... I still might check out this collection just because some of these other Pac-Man games are great. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for listening, for watching. That's basically all of the gaming news for this week, so really appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you again, and I'll see you all next time. So long, and farewell.